All right, guys, we're starting this video off with a clean, shiny truck. Hell yeah, what a great, what a great feeling. Uh, we are getting down to it right now. We only have a couple days left in the LS Nasty Charlie Murphy Turbo Mustang giveaway. <laughs> guys that don't know i don't know how you don't know but giving away my five second turbo streetcar mustang and you can win it all you have to do to enter is go to lsnasty.com i've got a bunch of awesome merchandise that you guys can get entered to win every item you purchase on the website is an entry to win except for stickers but you can get stickers they're badass go to lsnasty.com get entered to win go down there pick up some merchandise we got hats hoodies socks socks are awesome shirts are super comfortable got winter hats i got face masks i got it all uh got a modification coming to this thing what we're gonna do in today's video is i gotta go pick up this mod um or mod this upgrade we're gonna put it on the car then we're gonna talk to you guys about a game plan we're gonna be a price breakdown on some full bolt on stuff for your ls ride at home so we're gonna sit down we're gonna do everything together it's gonna get its first new look and uh, I'm, I'm excited i can't wait so i'm gonna hop my truck we're gonna go meet this guy uh it's a set of wheels actually so you guys might have been hearing me talk about it if you follow me on instagram you'll know what wheels i was looking for and i found a set so we're gonna pick them up get them on the car and uh get this thing looking right all right we're here at uh speedco getting an oil change done on the toter so i was just eating some lunch or dinner with logan god i got like tar and stuff all over my truck i got to uh I gotta get all this stuff off it comes off pretty good i just washed my truck wheels are shiny all right so lp back in videos a little bit different look shave the beard amish gone looking good lost a bet lost a bet um motion race work shirt looking good as well got some wheels and tires staggered fifth gen camaro wheels look at this for all my people that hate ford stuff out here let me uh hop up in the bed of my truck granddaddy's dead let me hop up in here all right um i had these wheels on my fifth gen they, they look more like this these have gotten some paint on them looks like the clear coat has come off these are going to go on the caprice uh they're 20 inch wheels staggered they run a 245 up front and a 275 in the back so you can see slightly bigger uh, bolt patterns are the same i think the hub and everything's the same a lot of guys put these on g8s a lot of guys put them on fifth gen camaros obviously they come on them a lot of guys put them on chevy ss and the caprice also they all kind of share that same the same deal not perfect by any means but i paid 350 dollars for wheels and tires the tread logan what would you say the tread is i'd say the tread's like uh i think that's a solid three or four more burnouts no you can probably get more than that this tire's probably hard as hell but it is um i don't know i mean it'll last you a couple months i'm not driving the car right now because i got to get it fixed first but I'd say that's pretty good. And then from there, if I want to get some other wheels and tires, I can. But I think it's pretty good buy. I didn't want to buy like thousand dollar set of rims, then be in like another couple hundred dollars in tires for this thing because I would say like slight would you say slight budget is in mind? Yes, this is more of a budget build, something that you can drive daily and still get a good fuel economy. Yeah, we want something that we can drive around. So hey, look, this is your police brother right here. My police brother. No, I need help. No, no, we're good. good. Yep. Wait for the, Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Take care, y'all. We'll see you now. He's got a mean Vic. Mean Vic. Mean Vic. Um, all right. So, anyways, yeah. God, do you hear Mean Vic? When I say that, I think of Vic from Bradenton. Me too. Mean Vic. Mean. All right. So, we want something kind of budget. I'm probably going to end up painting these black for now. Uh, and then I'm going to wrap the car like a... Uh, I got like a dark like bass boat silver in mind. I love like the the glittery like the depth. Um, I got to do some PDR on it, but uh, this was budget in mind. Later on down the road, might do a different set of wheels and tires. Definitely not going to do a drag pack. Uh, if anything, if we do take it to the track, might just put like a 17 on the back and just run a full size front. But I say this now, 
I'm not gonna go out and buy like a, a dedicated drag pack for it because I want it to be a daily driver, so I keep the miles off this bad boy. So. I say we say go full on budget on these rims. We'll paint them ourselves. No, I'm, go I'm going to paint them. I'm gonna get like, Just dude, I'm gonna go back to where I came from. Get the Plasti Dip out. Pow. I had these wheels Plasti Dip back in the day, black on the cow, when before it was the cow, so. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. We'll get these back there. We'll throw them on the car and uh, we'll see how it looks. All right, y'all just got back with the wheels and tires and been working on this thing all day trying to get it figured out how to get this uh, the glue and the, the stickers off it. I about I got it pretty good. Uh, you can see there's still some stuff like this whole quarter panel here I need to do, but I got the doors and the doors look really good. Got the stickers peeled off of it. I got uh, a kit to try to salvage this headlight. And, uh, and then I just got to wash it and, and do all that fun stuff. But got this side pretty good over here. Um, I got my buddy Johnny from Big F Detailing. He told me to get all the stickers off. As much as the glue as possible. This side right here, very good. This door right here needs some love. And this one right here, I don't know if you can tell, but you probably hear it. It just, it's not, a car's not, a car's supposed to be like nice and smooth when you run your hand over it. And it's not quite that. So what I'll do is... Um, I'm going to put some oil in it because last time I fired up, it said add oil. So we'll, we'll throw some oil in there. That's very important. And we'll back it up, put it in the shop here, and I'll throw the wheels and tires on it. They should be a direct bolt on. Like I said, it's got that little staggered look. So obviously the smaller ones go up front. I think they're directional. So it should be pretty easy. I would like to think I can put these on. I'm just hoping that they clear the brakes and there's no additional modification needed. As you can tell, these look like they've been painted black a little bit. We will go over everything. Once I get them on the car, really just need to get them on the car and get the car rolling and make, I mean, there's nothing wrong with those wheels, but I don't want it to be looking like a cop car parked outside my shop. So we're gonna throw these on there and then we'll probably get them refinished once the, the build is complete. We'll either get them powder coated, uh, like gloss black or something like that. But these tires are on their way out, so it's perfect. We'll take the tires off, get the wheels done, put new tires on there, and it should be looking pretty good. All right, I've mentioned it before how this thing's got like this little like overflow deal with it. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. It's, I got like about a quart left in this thing of Rotella. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, no funnel, and see how I pour. So if I spill it everywhere, everyone in the comment section just flame me. I should I should be good. This should be good. Oh, came out faster than I thought. This is where you put the oil, right guys? Probably need more than that, but that should be like... It's like a gulp of Gatorade after you've been running for a while. It's probably tired. Let me see if I got any more sitting around the shop. I'm sure I do. Let's see if our oil light is on. Fire this thing up. 94,000. Hell yeah. Battery still working. Speedometer system check. That did not fix the miss, but it is not telling us to add oil at this point in time. Check engine, I just looked, it's there. Man, I tell you what, those brakes are no joke. Manual, if people had to run manual brakes in this day and age, they wouldn't drive. No one would, no one would do it. No one would do it. All right, guys, I'm gonna remember I put the keys here. What will be under here? Drive. Ah, it looks like it worked. Is this a taller tire? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Maybe. Oh, 
I don't know if this works. They say it works. I don't know if it works. What's that? It just doesn't look like it's going to fit right. Like, it looks like the fender is not as big as this. Wheel on this. Looks all right. I mean, we're about to find out. Look at this. If you turn this wheel, it's done. Well, that's better. Oh, it may go. It's, it's got some It's got some caster in it. So when you, when you set it down, it'll go back towards the rear, rear of the car. So. Science and physics lead me to believe that this will not work. Yeah, that's not going to work. It's going to have to have a smaller tire on it. So let's set it down and see. Coming down. Oh. Yeah. Oh, how does it roll? I don't even understand how it rolls. I don't understand. I don't understand this. Who said this works? I listened to the internet one time. All right, y'all, uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, jumped the gun a little bit, listened to the internet, didn't do my research, and this is what I get. This is why I just, we normally just do custom stuff instead of being like, oh, I read on the internet you could do this. So I put this damn wheel on here, factory Camaro wheel and tire, and it doesn't fit. It's the biggest letdown of my week thus far. Uh, so how excited was I to put these on there? Yeah, you jumped right in. And how, aw <laughs> how awful is this? It don't fit. It does not fit. And anyone that's saying, oh, it's, it, this is not a direct bolt-on. If it bolts right on and it fits, it's a direct bolt-on. If you bolt it on and you got to cut a bunch of shit, don't say it's a direct bolt-on. It touches, uh, like, the bottom of the, the spring perch on the strut. So that's touching the tire there. And then right here, I could tell just by my past experience with, t um, you know, some toted-up trucks that uh, this is not going to work. So um, maybe it's the wrong tire. I don't know, but this is factory OEM wheel and tire. Oh, Timmy just sent me a, uh, Timmy sent me a link. Hold on. Discussion SS 20 wheels. Here we go. This is right from the Caprice forum. Finally got my, oh, it's literally what Ben just read. Powder coat gloss black $65 each. Gorilla lock nuts tires. Oh, you need to run different tires. Do you? Yeah, this guy's got his tire at 245, 40, 20, and this is a 245, 245. Wait, he's got a, a what? He's got a, a 245, 40, 20. This is a 245, 45, 20. We're dead in the water, boys. We are dead in the water. I assume that the back would fit. Maybe. But the front? Nah. It's not doing it, dude. Not doing it. What else did he say here? Uh trunk tires front bumper potholes low profile tires on the back for drifting so i got more power straight to the ground without the tire twisting getting in the way what the hell anyways we're gonna disregard i want to get some low profile tires so they don't twist i want to put all the power straight to the ground because twisting tires is not listen my entry into the four-door community not gonna lie is a little rocky at this point i got a car that's got a miss from hell probably got a cylinder down it's got a lifter issue for sure got to pull the heads off and now i got a set of wheels and tires that don't fit i'm about to go back to the boosted two-door world and just leave the na four-door world for someone else i'm like this close um the fuse is lit and uh god what a damn slap in the face what are, you guys are just watching me fail live right here <sighs> i i have no words at this juncture the wheels look good though I'm not going to lie. I, I'm digging the wheels. Probably get them powder coated black. Guy right up the road, powder coat them. We'll do that. Looks like they might be getting powder coated sooner than later. So, this shit stinks. You know what? I'm, I'm so hurt right now. I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt. This right here looks like hell. That wheel and tire. This one looks way better, but I can only go directly forward and backwards at slow speed or else it'd catch on fire and explode. So, and these tires, these tires are smoked. Imagine if it had full tread on it. Yeah, they'd be like another quarter inch taller. Oh my God. All right, guys. If you guys are part of the four door Caprice community, comment down below. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. That's all I could say is I need your help. But what I can do right now before I take this wheel and tire back off. Oh God, I'm blinded. You see everything there, Ben? Did you get a check for parasites? 
Do you see everything? This is a total fail, guys. Everyone, I hope you're at home laughing because now I got to spend more money. You know what? I wasn't going to talk about the money that I'm spending on this build in today's video, but clearly I don't know what I'm spending because I need to spend more because this ain't right. It's not going to work. Wheel spacers. Wheels, <laughs> just space them out to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel spacers are the answer. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap today's video. Um, total fail on my part. I take full blame. This is what I get for not asking enough questions and just assuming, oh, they just slapped on their SS wheels and they work because they're practically the same car, both made in Australia. Wrong, folks, wrong. Sadly mistake, that doesn't work. So if you're doing this at home, you need to change tires, so just buy the rims. I, I did get everything for $325, so I'm not mad, but now I gotta spend more money on tires, so we gotta do that and I gotta wait. And I just wanna put stuff on now. If you guys don't know, I'm all about just doing it right now. Like right now, what you guys can do is you guys can go over to lsnatch.com and get entered to win Charlie Murphy because I'm giving away my five second turbo Mustang and you guys can go enter to win that. It's wheels and tires all fit perfect. They don't rub. We've even rolled the fenders so you can sit nice and low to the ground and not rub. I mean, look at this fitment, guys. Look at this fitment. This right here is what you call fitment. Look at that. Pow. Fitment. Tuck and tire. Up front, look at this. Tuck and tire. This is what we're going for, folks. Look at this. You could turn. You even got a zip tie here. Not an issue. So go to lsnice.com. Get your merch. Get entered to win. We got hats, hoodies, socks. We got winter caps. We got t-shirts. We got stickers. We got face masks. Did I mention we got socks? Go to lsnice.com. Get entered to win. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.